Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our story. Hello, Selma. Hello, Letty. Hello, everyone. Hello, Alan. Hello, Miss Letty. And hello, Linda. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you again. Right. So our story, to remind everyone, is called Jane Eyre. The author is Charlotte Bronte, and we're up to chapter seven. Uh, as everyone remembers, uh, this story is for beginners. I have chosen a graded reader, which means a simplified version of the story. So, okay. if you would be so kind, Selma, and to start to read, A Terrible okay. Night. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Some hours later, I woke up. A terrible cry had woken me. The moon was bright. Its light was shining through my window. I listened. Then I heard somebody shouting, help, help, Rochester, help me. The voice came from the top corridor. Help, help. I got out of, my, out of bed and I put on a dress and some shoes. I opened my door. All the guests were in the corridor outside the bedroom. They were all asking questions. What happened? They asked. Is there a fire? Who is hurt? Where is Mr. Rochester? I'm here, Mr. Rochester said. He was walking down the, the stairs from the top corridor. Right. Okay. Just a minute. Off you go, Alan. Uh, what is wrong, Mr. Rochester? Miss Ingram asked. What has happened? Nothing is wrong, Mr. Rochester replied. One of the servants had had a bad dream. Go back to bed. I went back to my room, but something was wrong. I did not get into my bed. I waited. Soon, somebody knocked on my door. I opened the door and Mr. Rochester was standing in the corridor. Jane, follow me. Do not make a sound, Mr. Rochester said. We went up to the top corridor, Mr. Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of text. <laughs> right, off you go, Linda. Mr. Rochester. Mr. Rochester unlocked the door and he went inside the room. Mr. Mason was sitting on a chair in the room. His face was pale and his shirt was covered with blood. Then I heard the terrible laugh. The sound came from the next room. Right. So we gathered that this Mr. Mason is a guest that was there uh, in the last uh, chapter. And Mr. Rochester is asking Jane to help him in this difficult situation. So Selma, what can you see in this picture? I see, I see Mr. Rochester with a candle and uh, while, uh, what's the name of the, the, the girl? Uh, uh, Jane, um, Jane, 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 <laughs> Jane is astonished with the, the team. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he sees uh, a man sitting in the, on the chair with the neck bended to the back side and with the shirt uh, with a lot of blood. Right, so we're inside the room. And as we remember, there's no electricity at this time. So they're holding a candlestick, holding, holding a candlestick. Okay. And Jane is shocked, like you said, surprised at mm -hmm. what she can see. And what can you see? Can you imagine? It's like dark. No, she can't see everything. So it's more mysterious. No. Mm -hmm. And so she sees someone with their head uh, positioned backwards and uh, all his shirt is full of blood so we have to wait now and see what happens so off you go Selma Grace pulled, pulled 
is a mad woman, I thought. Why does Mr. Rochester have a mad servant? Mr. Rochester spoke quietly to Mr. Mason. I'm going to bring a doctor, Richard, he said. Then he spoke to me. Stay here, Jane. Wash Mr. Mason's arm, but do not speak to him. Mr. Rochester left the room. I washed Mr. Mason's arm. We waited for Mr. Rochester and the doctor. Mr. Mason did not speak to me and I did not speak to him. After two hours, Mr. Rochester returned. The doctor was with him. The doctor looked at Mr. Mason's arm. She beat me, Mr. Mason said. I came up here. I wanted to see her. I wanted to help her, but she beat me. Right, so we still have a lot of mystery in this story. Mm -hmm. We still don't know what everything is all about. So mm -hmm. we know that there's someone with a mad laugh that we have heard about. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mason, I don't know who he is yet. And he went upstairs to help a woman, but we don't know who the woman is. And in return, the woman has bit him. So she must be very savage to have caused mm -hmm. all that uh, blood on his shirt. Right, mm -hmm. off you go, Alan. Be quiet now, Richard, Mr. Rochester said quickly. The doctor put a bandage on Mr. Mason's arm. Mr. Rochester, put Mr. Mason's coat around the, in, around the injured man's shoulders. Then he spoke to me again. Run downstairs, Jane. Unlock the small door at the side of the house, he said. We will follow you. I went quickly downstairs and opened the door. Outside the door, a servant was waiting with a carriage. Mr. Mason and the doctor came out of the house. They got into the carriage. Then Mr. Rochester came out of the house too. Mr. Mason spoke to him through the window of the carriage. Help her, be kind to her, Rochester, he said. Yes, I will, Mason, Mr. Rochester said. The servant drove the carriage away. Right, so we must remember that in this uh, moment of the story, uh, in the 1800s, there are no cars or other ways of transport. So everyone is in a carriage which has very big wheels okay. and horses. So mm -hmm. soon we will find out who everybody is. Off you go, Linda. Oh, sorry. Will you walk in the garden with me, Jane? Mr. Rochester asked. I do not want to sleep now. Yes, I will, sir, I said. Soon, it was morning. The birds were beginning to sing. The flowers had a sweet smell. It has been a strange night, Jane, Mr. Rochester said. Were you, were you frightened? I'm frightened of Grace Poole, I said. She will hurt you one day. I am stronger than she is. She will not hurt me. Mr. Rochester said. He looked at me for a few moments. Are you my friend, Jane? He asked me. So I think Mr. Rochester is a little cruel, really, because um, he's been so kind to Jane. Uh, she falls in love with him. And really, Jane cannot be with Mr. Rochester simply because of the classes. Um, as you know, Mr. Rochester is from uh, the noble uh, class. And uh, Jane is from the lower class, and it's not normal for these people to mix when they get married. So, Selma, mm -hmm. let's see what happens next. Okay. Yes, sir. I will be your friend forever, I replied. Thank you, my dear, Mr. Rocha said. I have made mistake. Now I want to be happy. That is not wrong, is it, Jane? He stopped speaking for a minute. Then he said, go into the house. I will talk to you tomorrow. But the next day, I had a letter from Gatehead Hall, my aunt Reed's house. 
The letter was from my cousin, Elisa. Right, so remember, she hasn't seen these people for a very long time, since she was bullied as a child. Uh, so this letter is a big surprise, no, to come. So Alan, see if you can read it. If not, I will read it. Um, well, it's uh, headed at Gates Hill, Gateshead Hall. Dear Jane Eyre, my brother John is dead. My mother is very ill. She wants to speak to you. Please come quickly, Jane. Your cousin, Eliza Reed. So no. there's secrets everywhere, no? People are not being very clear and they're hiding lots of things, no? So off you go, Linda. I started the journey to my aunt Reed's house immediately. I arrived there the next day. My aunt Reed was very, very ill. She could not move and she did not speak to me. I wanted to return to Thornfield Hall. I wanted to see Mr. Rochester, but Elisa wanted me to stay at Gates Head Hall. After three weeks, my aunt spoke to me at last. She spoke very slowly. Are you Jane Eyre? She asked. Yes, Aunt Reed. I am Jane Eyre, I will say. There is a letter for you, Aunt Reed said. It is in my desk. Call Elisa, please. She will get the letter. Elisa came into the room. She opened the desk and she gave me a letter. So another mystery that we need to read about. So mm -hmm. Selma, what are you supposing that we are seeing in this picture here? Uh, I suppose that there is a something uh, special for Jane. Uh, her Eliza, Eliza, the name Eliza. Yeah, Eliza is, is the one standing up with uh, the letter in up. her hand, not her uh, cousin yeah. Eliza. Exactly to to give to give Jane and her aunt is very ill in in the in bed. bed. Right, so we can see in the center of the picture, her aunt, Reed, who yes. is very ill. And mm -hmm. Jane is the one in black sitting down in the chair and her cousin is giving her a letter under her mother's instructions. Mm -hmm. Right, off you go. Uh, Alan, if you can read. The letter's dated October 1831 and it's come from Madeira, I think. Right, so if you read the first two sentences above the letter. Oh, sorry, yes. Read the letter, Jane, my aunt said. The letter has come from Madeira, but it was three years old. Mm -hmm. So the letter read as follows. Again, I say it was dated October 1831, and it's come from Madeira. Dear Madam, I am Jane Eyre's uncle. I am a very rich man. I have no children. One day, Jane will have all my money. Tell her about me. She must write to me. Jane Eyre. John Eyre. It's not very easy John. to Sorry, John Eyre. Yeah, big by a John Eyre. Yeah, this is obviously Right. So you can imagine the auntie has kept this letter to herself. Yes. And John has asked uh, Jane to write to him, but she couldn't write to him because she didn't know that this letter existed. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. Alan, just read the bottom part yes. of the page. I answered that letter. Aunt Reed said, I hated you, Jane. I did not want you to have your uncle's money. I wrote to Jane Eyre. I wrote, Jane Eyre is dead. She died at Lowood School. I am sorry, Jane, I was wrong. <laughs> so the auntie acted as though she was Jane and she told the uncle that she was dead. And so that means that she may not get the money because the uncle thinks that she is dead. Right, Linda. Mrs. Reed died that night. I left Gates Head Hall a few days later. I took my uncle's letter with me. Mr. Rochester met me at Thornfield Hall. Welcome back to my house, he said. 
This is your home, Jane. Thank you, sir, I said. I am very happy here. Mr. Rochester's guests had left. No other visitor came to Thornfield Hall. Every day, Mr. Rochester and I talked together, and every day I loved him more. So we could gather this was going to happen, no? Yes. And so this has finished for today, everyone. <laughs> uh, so we will continue uh, another day. And I will write in the post who are these people that came into the story today, which was mm -hmm. Mr. Mason. So mm -hmm. I will look it up and I will write in the post because I'm a bit uh, curious to see who he is because I mm -hmm. don't remember him before in the story. So mm -hmm. let's say goodbye, everyone. And next okay. week, we will continue with the story. See you okay. later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.